What is happening guys? Welcome back to yet another video. I've had a couple of messages from few people asking me, you know, what camera equipment I'm using for photography, what kind of camera equipment I'm using for vlogs, as well as, you know, some rolling footage of the car. I thought easiest way would be to do a little video about it where I can show you my equipment. So yeah, let's do this. <music> Right, unfortunately, I do not have a studio, so I'm going to use my S2000 as a studio and show you guys what equipment I use for photography and vlogging. So we're going to start with photography first. Yeah, I got into photography a long time ago, but I got the camera a long time ago, about eight, nine years ago, but the shutter count on my camera was around 2000 for around seven years and last in last one year i've been taking a lot of photographs mostly family members um but then you know what i was like you know what? i want to get into automotive photography and i started doing like a lot of photography about my car and then i started getting into vlogging and you know and here we are i don't i don't remember exactly when i got the camera but i'm pretty sure it was a month after it was released it was sometime in march so about eight years ago I think anyway the camera I bought was a Canon 600D it's got a Yongnyu Yongno Yongnyu 50mm lens which I bought recently before that I only had I had a couple of other lenses I had the kit lens which is 18 to 55 I bought another lens which is an EF 28 to 80 which is apparently really really old lens apparently older than me um, and then I bought a Sigma 28 to 300 which is probably the worst lens I have in my kit when it's a phenomenal camera this camera takes some really really good pictures does it take better pictures than a mobile phone 100% it is 18 megapixel camera the only thing it doesn't have is continuous autofocus in during the videos and stuff so you have to manually focus it which is something I really really wish they would have brought at that time but you know like it is what it is but I mean this camera is great for especially if you're starting into photography you can pick this up for around 200 pound with a kit lens um, probably 300 pound if you want a couple of extra lenses with it but this is a proper proper camera if you go on my Instagram all my recent pictures I think last about 20 pictures were taken on this camera um, there are a couple of them they're really cool pictures on my Instagram and they were taken on a Samsung S10 which I do not own um, but yeah I mean like this is the camera to get if you're really getting into photography for the vlogging segment of the video I do not have an actual camera I use mobile phones now the main mobile phone I use most of the time is a Samsung S8. So all my videos you have seen so far have been shot on this except probably a couple of them like right now I'm using a Samsung S7 Edge to record which is my personal phone I use daily but most of my videos have been shot on this literally on this mobile phone. It's got um, it's got 64 gig memory and on top of it I've installed a 128 gig memory card as well so enough space to record 1080p 60 frames per second and almost unlimited space to record 1080p 30 frames per second and this phone does 4k as well every youtuber has always said if you're getting into vlogging any kind of you know videography cinematic stuff you can still use your mobile phone for example you know the s2000 teaser i did was all shot on this so yeah big ups to Samsung S8. This is probably one of the most important things I use for getting a super smooth footage, especially if I'm doing slow motion stuff. Pretty sure at 1080p 60 frames per second, S8 doesn't allow video stabilization. This is something you really need if you're really doing like slow motion stuff. I use for smooth footage is a Zion Smooth 4. Now this is a like incredible, incredible gimbal. It is incredible bit of kit it has so many features to be honest it has so many features i don't even know about them features because i haven't used any one of them i've just been using it for you know doing getting like smooth shot if you really want to get it this is <laughs> it's, it's gone up in price when i got this it was 39 pound now it's something like 80 or 90 pound for a brand new one if you can get one for a reasonable price i think you should you should go for it, especially if you're getting into vlogging you've probably seen I did some of the outside footage and some of it while I was driving. For the outside, I've got this. It's just a basic 
suction mount I got off eBay for like six or seven pounds. Now the other one I use is the single mount which I've been using it for inside of the car. Again, this is, I got it off eBay, I paid about three or four pounds for it. And you're probably thinking like what kind of camera I use to record footage inside the car and record footage you know, outside the car with those suction mounts. Now I do not have a GoPro, I do not have a DJI Osmo or any other one of those fancy action cameras. Now the cameras I use is a bunch of random ones I picked up on eBay over the period of five years. Um, so the first camera is this. This is a SJ6000 or 7000, something like that. I mean, like, this is, like, I've had it for such a long time, I don't even know what brand or what make it is. I recorded all my Nürburgring videos on this uh, in the Civic when I did 27 laps of Nürburgring. I recorded all the footage on this camera. And the most recent one I've done is is with this. all the footage in the S2000 teaser. Um, all the inside footage was done on this camera. Now this is an Andor. I do not know. I just know the brand. Um, it records 1080p, 120 frames per second, 60, 30, and does 4K at 30 frames per second. So it's a pretty solid camera. It's got an external microphone jack as well. So pretty solid camera. Now this one is the most recent one I picked up. I wanted something really cheap so I could just chuck it outside even if it flies away. I paid 16 pounds for this and I didn't realize this records 1080p, 100 frames per second, 60 and 30. It does 4K at 60 frames per second and I only paid 16 pounds for it. So I also have this camera. This I got it for free when I took a mobile phone contract. They sent it to me for free of charge. So not used it yet, but I, I can't wait to try it. For some lightning, I've got this and the old light thing is proper adjustable because it's getting really dark right now. And then I've got this big bad boy thing. I don't know what make it is. Oh wow, that went in my eye. I do not know what make it is, but it's fully adjustable and i can swap from yellow to you know white if i have to like that's how bright it is the main thing i didn't talk about was my tripod now the tripod i use is a bellborn 200 r or 250r i'm not sure which one but it is a quite heavy piece of kit in the camera right now it's on a tripod with a ulanzi little phone bracket thing I, mean, I know everyone bangs about manfro and to be honest i do not regret getting this i mean this kit is around 70 pounds i paid around 15 because i picked it up on um, through facebook marketplace so you know i got a really decent kit for a very decent value quickly gonna introduce you guys to my new equipment i picked it up very recently for very good value so the first thing we're going to talk about is because I've got a camera now, I can't use my Zion Smooth 4 gimbal. So something I picked up very recently is Joby Gorilla Pods or whatever they're called. And these are probably something I'll be using from now on until I'm able to get a, a gimbal. So I got something I picked up for around 12 pound off eBay. Now this is a, and again, Andio, Andio, ADM2. You can use it on smartphones, tablets, DSLRs, and all sorts, all sorts of other cameras as long as they have an external microphone jack. If you're looking to get this, do get it for £13. It is awesome. Hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference in my future videos. Now let's move on to the camera I picked up. Um, it's around six, seven hundred pounds brand new with a kit lens, body only. At the moment, it's on offer for 489 pounds. It is a mirrorless camera. I picked it up for a very, very, very decent price. It has a little over 500 shutter count, so technically new. Now, the camera we're talking about, um, I'll be using for all my vlogs in future, doing all the slow motion, all of it on this little baby. Now, this little baby is a you guys can see it's a Canon EOS M50 it is a mirrorless camera so it's got six more megapixel than the 600D it has image stabilization it has you know dual pixel autofocus from Canon which is legendary at the moment I do not have a kit lens with it it's got a nifty 50 which is the EF nifty 50 um, it using a makey you know speed booster or converter whatever you want to call it um, still works great i have tried taking videos it works perfectly fine but when i tried to you know vlog with it all you could see was my big head and you you, 
literally could not see anything else so once i have the right lenses hopefully we'll be able to shoot some incredible incredible footage with it all the links for all the products i've mentioned today are underneath i do not get paid for any of them so it's a bunch of random links from aliexpress ebay and you know amazon or whatever i could wherever i could find the cheap stuff thank you very much for tuning in to this video highly appreciate you guys if you'd like to see any specific kind of videos regarding these cameras or other test footage if you want me to do please do let me know i'm happy to do it for you guys thank you very much take care see you guys later